Now to a case out of Arizona. This woman is waking up in jail this morning, accused of trying to kill her own husband by poisoning his coffee every day. 39-year-old Melody Johnson was indicted by a grand jury in Pima County last month. She's now charged with attempted first-degree murder, attempted assault, and adding poison to food and drink. Stephanie Haynes joins us live to explain this. And Stephanie, her husband set up hidden cameras around the house to test out his theory that something didn't taste right and something seemed suspicious. Hey, Marky, good morning. Records show that's exactly what Robbie Johnson did. He set up those cameras as soon as he suspected something was off. His coffee started tasting bad and he pretended to drink it for months. And as to the possible motive in this case, the husband told investigators he believed his wife wanted to collect death benefits. Melody Johnson remains behind bars after her husband accused her of trying to poison him for months. The story begins in Germany, where the complaint says the couple were stationed back in March and Robbie Johnson is a member of the Air Force. According to the complaint, he noticed his coffee tasted strange. So he bought chemical testing strips, the kind you would use to test the chemical balance of a swimming pool, which he says showed high levels of chlorine in his morning cup of joe. That's when he set up a camera and told investigators he recorded his wife pouring something in the coffee pot. He told investigators he pretended to drink it until at least last month when the family moved to the Davis Montham Air Force Base in Tucson. According to the records, Robbie set up the cameras again and he took the footage to Tucson police who note in the documents that the video shows Melody pouring something in the coffee, but it's not clear what. Robbie then went to buy more cameras, which looked like fire alarms. He set them up in the laundry room where the bleach was and put one by the coffee pot and another one to show her walking in between the two. The documents state he recorded multiple videos over several days showing Melody take bleach, pour it into a container, and then walk over and pour it into the coffee maker. And quote, he stated he knew she would continue to try to poison him once arriving back in the U.S., which is why he waited until they arrived here, and he was able to collect multiple videos showing her doing this to make a report. I do question the not reporting it for months. Um, uh, why pretend? <laughs> Um, you know, to, to drink your coffee for months on end when you have these test strips um, that you can use to prove. Um, it, it was surprising to me. It's the latest case of alleged poisonings in the past few months. In April, a doctor in California was charged after a video allegedly shows her pouring drain cleaner in her husband's tea. And in Utah back in May, a mother who wrote a children's book about grief is accused of killing her husband after allegedly lacing his cocktail with fentanyl. Women tend to prefer poisons. That's a psychological thing that's been proven. Back to the Arizona case, investigators note in the complaint that the couple has been going through a divorce and that Melody Johnson has family in the Philippines and bought a house there in, back in December. So she is considered a potential flight risk. She's being held on a $250,000 bond. And it's not clear at this point if she has an attorney and efforts to reach that attorney were not successful. Mark. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.